So a lot of people don't like spiders. I get that. A lot of people don't like arachnids in general. But you know what people hate even more, usually, than spiders? Mosquitoes. That's right, mosquitoes. Those awful little bugs, sometimes not so little depending on where you live, that fly around in the summer or all year round and bite us and leave horrible welts on our skin that itch and hurt and maybe even potentially carry malaria with them, which is a much bigger deal. Generally, people don't really like mosquitoes. So what if I told you that somewhere in the world there's this little tiny heroic spider that is feeding almost exclusively on them? That's right, there is a mosquito-eating spider, and this little guy deserves a little recognition. The Avarsha calicivora is a species of jumping spider found in a very limited area in eastern Africa, specifically around Lake Victoria. The E. calicivora uh, is often referred to as the vampire spider because it has an observed preference for ingesting vertebrae blood. Now, you're probably thinking, wait, it likes to drink blood or eat blood? Why, why is this a good thing? It's a good thing because the spider never goes to the actual animal, or human in this case, that has the blood, but instead goes after a vector that has already eaten a nasty little bloody snack. And that's right, it targets mosquitoes, and not just any mosquitoes, specifically ones that have already ingested blood. So females, because only females bite and ingest blood. So several lab studies have been conducted with these neat little spiders. And it's been discovered that these spiders select their prey based on both sight, because jumping spiders are known for having excellent eyesight, and these guys are no different, and also on a type of olfactory sense. Now keep in mind, spiders don't have the same kind of olfactory sense that we do. They don't have noses, they don't smell in the same sense, but it's olfactory sense nonetheless. And they can smell the blood in the female mosquito, but also they identify the females by the posture they take when they land from flight. Apparently, they sit and stand around differently after they've ingested blood. Now, the Echolisivora also takes it a step further by allowing this blood preference to have an effect on their mating habits. The spiders smell or their olfactory aroma changes after they eat a large amount of blood. So basically, the males during mating season will eat a lot more mosquitoes, blood engorged mosquitoes, so that they smell right for females because the females will choose the males who smell like they've eaten the most. They are attracted to the smell of blood, basically. So there you have it little red masked jumping spider helps drastically with the population control of mosquitoes. They are the primary, and in, in Africa, in this area of Kenya around uh, Lake Victoria, these specific types of mosquitoes are actually the main vector for malaria, which is a very big deal that nobody wants to have in their life. So it helps stop the spread of dangerous diseases, as well as help control the population of these nasty little mosquitoes. I think we could all agree that the Avarsha calicivora is a spider that just about anyone could love.